everyone. I hope you all are fine. And this is our sixth class on SciPy tutorial. And I hope you all are uh, okay and healthy. And today we will learn about basal function, which is also a part of the special functions that we have started two weeks back. And we have completed uh, Hermite polynomial and also Legendre polynomials um, uh, in uh, special function category. And today we will do Bessel function, which is also a special function. And it is very much required in uh, mathematical physics and maths, okay? So the Bessel function, uh, as you can see in this whiteboard I have uh, written, Basal functions are the solution of the following second order differential equation. This uh, is a second order differential equation. And the solution to this equation is the basal function. And the basal function of first kind is provided by this very relationship uh, that is given by j and x equal to summation of m uh, from 0 to infinite and this very expression where uh, another function is being used, I hope, uh, as uh, students of physics and math, you would be able to uh, recognize the symbol. This is a gamma function and you know this function, I hope. And this is being used over here. So this is the expression of basal function of first kind. And this is the expression of basal function of the second kind. And today we will see how to solve this basin function in Python using SciPy, okay? And we will see the nature of the plot as well. And uh, let's begin. So, is my screen visible? Okay. I'll start from where I have left. So basal function, the, those two uh, expression of the first kind and expression of the second kind that is given by Jn, we will be uh, doing that. And for this, we require the same thing. We have to import scipy dot special as s, as it is already being imported because we have just completed our Hermite uh, polynomial. So I'm not uh, importing this once again. All we need to do is we have to import here uh, numpy. So I'm just importing, uh, my caps lock is on, import numpy as np. And then since basal function is a part of uh, scipy dot special, so similarly like s dot hermite as we have written, we'll write over here s dot jn. JN was written in that basal function of first kind and second kind. So uh, we'll write JN. We want to know about the basal function. Say, suppose I take for zero and one. And that very expression output will be delivered over here. So it is providing you the basal function of first kind uh, is given over here with value 0, 1. If uh, take another value, so S dot JN say, and now take another value, say one comma five, okay? And you get the output in this format. So it is very easy because it is being already uh, set inside the SciPy special package. And all these things you don't need to write and uh, do in Python. It is already there uh, inbuilt. So just uh, you, you are required to put in the values uh, and you go for the result, okay? So now if you wish to know about the basal function of second kind, the e equation was of y, n, x. So I'm just going to type over here y, n and give the value say as zero comma, say suppose 30, okay? And this will fetch you the result. So this is so uh, easy that you can uh, do this in a very, uh, less amount of time, it requires very less amount of time and also uh, very useful. So moving on to a spider shell. I hope my screen is visible once again. Okay, so we'll take a new file and I make a new console as well because uh, it's been opened for a long time. Okay, so uh, 
We are doing basal functions. The first thing that we require to do is just name your uh, program. So basal function, fine. And uh, there is an announcement I want to make uh, by the end of the class. So just remind me once, okay? Fine, we have to import NumPy as NP and then from SciPy, Yes, of course. So we'll write import scipy dot special as s. Okay. After that, since we need to see the plot, we'll call matplotlib. So as pyplot matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. So the import section is over. We need to give the value of X. So I'll consider A range or lin space, whichever is suitable you can take. Let us consider uh, lin space, okay? So lin space, uh, consider the points as 0, 20, 300. And after that, you have to mention all the uh, basal function of first and second kind. So J naught, I wish to write like this format. So J naught is equal to S dot J N. Okay, J N where I have given as zero comma X. Fine. After that, uh, I suppose another, I take another value. So J one is equal to s dot j n and take the value as one comma x are you following okay similarly for y not we have to write s dot y n and zero comma x and for y one you have to write s dot y n 1 comma x okay it is very simple just like the hermite polynomial uh, expressions and the legendary polynomial expressions this is also similarly very easy now the plotting section comes since we have taken four uh, uh, such uh, values so we'll write plt dot plot four times plt dot plot x comma j not okay comma if you wish to give all these details you can write so i'm, I'm providing all this and uh, c is equal to say 0.1 <clears throat> and label as and label as J naught, okay? It would be easier for you all to recognize which one is which, what, okay? So same thing you have to repeat four times. So I'm just copying this part. PLT dot, I'll write over here J1 and make the line style a bit different. And I just give uh, dash dash. And over here, I write as one, okay? After that, over here, make this as y, okay? Because we have taken y not, so y not, give this as a single dash and point one, and over here, say y not. And finally, another last one is there. Over here, plot y1 and make this as semicolon. Okay, I'm, I'm just using anything of my, or colon, whatever you want. And uh, this one will be y1. So this is my plotting part is over. 
Now the title comes, plt.title. I will write as basal function. First and second kind, okay? So first and first and second kind. Okay, this is my title. You need to give the size of the title if you wish uh, to, you can. So size I prefer as 18. After that, uh, write the legend. So plt.legend. And finally, you have plt dot y limit i'm giving this as minus one to one and plt dot show so this is your entire program for bessel function uh using the scipy dot special module and the plotting okay everything is there in this few lines of the program so just save in your program and run and check what it is fetching you okay so I'm saving my program. So I have saved my program, naming it as basal function. And let us check how the nature of the graph turns out to be, okay? So I hit the run button and the graph is being fetched over here. <clears throat> you can see uh, the heading has come out to be as basal function and uh, all the legends are individually shown here. The this is the this is this line is for y naught. The double dash line is for j one, and the dotted line is for y one. And and the curve is being shown here according to the values of the first and second kind of basal functions. And we have taken the ranges from zero to twenty. And it is showing here from zero to 20. And uh, everything is being very clear over here, okay? So this is quite simple and you can plot as many as basal functions you want, okay? If you have any queries, please drop in your queries in the chat box or the comment box in YouTube, or you can mail me, okay? Don't hesitate and keep learning with me. Thank you all.